Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Tony's Phone Collection. Today we're reviewing an unboxing of a phone lot I picked up on eBay. Uh, this one I've been waiting for a while. And I haven't had the opportunity to film it just yet. Alright guys, I got a phone call so I'll take that real quick. But... This was a pretty decent deal that I got on this. this. Uh, so here we got a, a data cable, proprietary to USB, another Sprint upstage CD. Here is the first device. The box looking a little iffy. Uh, let's see. Here is the device itself. It does have some charge in it. So it looks to be in decent shape. It's stuck in this case because of the deterioration. It looks to be dead. There it is on both sides. There's the first device. Like I said the box looking a little iffy. Looks like half of it was cut off. Probably for the uh, yeah the serial number, the ESN number. They used to cut them off back in the day because uh, you would get a promotion by sending in proof of purchase and the ES or e, yeah the ESN number on them. So in this bag have the poorly uh, designed, probably cheap micro USB or mini USB to USB A. Go and toss that. Have a battery. Here is a Motorola Razor. V3 looks to be in decent shape. It seems to be dead. But like I said, pretty good shape overall. None of the grass glass is cracked on it. Has a few scratches. But nothing too bad overall, like I said. Seen worse. The next device is a HTC Hero on Sprint. Here it is. Battery is in it. Probably going to be dead. Oh, hey, there we go. So wipe the screen down real quick. Screen's got a few scratches on it, but nothing too bad. Up there towards the top, there's a pretty decent scratch. And then down here, there's a little one right there. Uh, let's see, has, I'm going to guess screen protectors, the extended battery and battery cover, proprietary HTC cable, which a mini USB works as well, and then some books and stuff for it. Well, that one's booting up. I'll set it over there in the corner. Got some more bubble wrap. Here is a Blackberry or some other face plates, car charger, and a mini USB to USB A cable. So here is the BlackBerry Curve. Battery's bloated, of course. Uh, 8330, so this is a CDMA model. It's probably dead. BlackBerry batteries do not hold a charge. Now, I remember looking in the photos of this. Oh, I guess these two came out of the bag. Uh, 
it does have a Sprint branded housing, so it's probably a Sprint device. One of those retractable chargers. I'm just gonna toss these because these chargers suck anyways, and I don't usually keep car chargers. So there's the next device. Still a couple more to go here. We already have this one, but uh came in a lot, so now we have two of them. SEHU420 and Alto. Let's see. This one doesn't seem to have a battery. But that's fine. Uh, let's see, 420 on Altel. Looks to be, someone has tried to take this apart before. As you can tell. So we'll have to see what's wrong with it. We'll go ahead and zoom it out so we can test it. If you already have one of these, so if it doesn't work, like it's not too big of a deal. So if you have others. Heavy Blackberry, I'm guessing it's going to be a Blackberry Curve pouch. Yeah. Pretty interesting. I've seen one of those before, to be honest. Here's this one, and then there's one more after that. Autel UT Starcom PPC 670 or 6700. This one comes with everything. But we're just going to look at the phone itself in this video. So let's see. It does show to have a battery. There's the model number on the device. It does show to have a battery. The back cover looks to be in taped on at one time. It is pretty loose, so that's probably why. Power button at the top. Shows out charge. Slides open. Uh, it's in pretty good shape, I would say. Actually, really good. Minus this. Looks to be uh, either dead battery. Bad LCD, maybe. Maybe the backlight shot. I don't know. It does show to be working. See, it seems to be fully functional. Showing the tabs on the screen. So I'm not too sure why the backlight isn't working. We'll have to mess with that one later. But like I said it does seem to work. I don't know why it's Pretty interesting there. And then last but not least, Samsung Galaxy Note 3, which is my favorite Samsung phone, to be honest. I used mine for so long. Pretty much this and the uh, UT Starcom is the only reason I bought this lot, pretty much. So here it is. It does have a screen protector installed on it. Go ahead and wipe down the screen here. Uh, phone's in really good shape. Maybe a mark down there. That's a microphone hole, never mind. A little marks on the edge. It is a sprint device. But other than that, Really good shape. It's probably dead. No, 76%, so not bad at all on that one. So here's the unboxing for you guys. Put all the devices over here. Get the blackberry out now. There we go. That screen inside on this bike ray looks really weird. It's like it's warped. There you go. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one.